Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see Java program to print even numbers in the range or if question comes to print odd numbers in the range. If range is given 12 to 44, we have to print all even numbers in the given range or if it comes to print odd numbers in the range, how can we do that? Now let us start with basic prototype of Java program, import the scanner, class name, public static void main, scanner s and we will declare one variable int i to run the loop. Now here we will need two more variable, one is for upper limit and one is for lower limit. We will ask user, what will we ask? Enter the lower limit. First we will ask enter the lower limit. We will take that lower limit in the variable l is equal to s dot next in. Now again we will ask for upper limit. See we don't have to declare, I mean uh, declare it again because we have already declared here. Now we will ask user for upper limit which we will take in the variable u. Both the limits are taken. Now let us talk about for loop. Now how will I run the for loop? I will gradually increase the loop by 1. But from where will I start? From lower limit. Because I have to print in the range. So my value of i will start from l. It will be always less than or equal to upper limit. And I will be doing i++. Why am I doing i++? Because for example, if question comes print, all even numbers in the range 13 and 50. What is 13? It is odd number and I am supposed to print all even numbers. So this first term is not, first term is not even number. So what to do? What will I do? I will start from the lower limit 13. Then I will make 14, 15, 16, 17 and so on. I will go till 50. Every time I will check whether it is even, if it is print, otherwise don't print. Very simple logic. So what will we do in the body of for loop? We will one by one, whatever value comes, I will check it whether it is even or not. Because right now we are doing question to print even numbers in the range. So what are we doing? We are changing value of i. Here value of i will go from l to u. So every time I am checking value of i, is it divisible by 2? Because if it is divisible by 2, it means remainder will come 0. And if remainder comes 0, I will print it. We will print in one line. That's why we will write print i and then we will give space semicolon the program is done because we just have to print all even numbers in the range let us run this before that we have to comment the question now let us run the program I will compile. Even odd in the range. I will compile the program. Okay, I think I have not saved the commented one. We commented. Control S. Let us run. Now it is asking me the lower limit. I entered 12. Then it is asking me upper limit. I entered 50. See, it is printing all even numbers from 12 to 50. But if I enter lower limit as odd number 13, it should not start from 13, right? Because it is odd number. So what will it do? It will not start for from 13, but it will of course start from 14 because every time in the for loop 
what are we checking we are checking i modulo 2 is it equal to 0 right so this is for even number right if i want to print odd number then what will change only a slight change if i modulo 2 is not equal to 0 it will print what it will print all the odd numbers let us run again i compiled now lower limit is say 34 and upper limit is 56 what it is doing see now it is printing all the odd numbers so there is only small change we just have to look at it we have to start from lower limit we have to go till upper limit with the increment of one and we have to focus on this line if we write i modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 then we just have to it will print what all even numbers and instead if i write not equal to 0 it will print all odd numbers so simple take lower limit take upper limit run the for loop from l to u and check as per the question